Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa arrived in Abu Dhabi where he was received by the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi and Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE Armed Forces, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan. His Majesty the King held a meeting with His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed in the presence of officials from both countries where they discussed the heinous attacks carried out by the terrorist Houthi militia on civilian areas and facilities in the UAE, targeting the lives of innocent people. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed briefed His Majesty the King on the details of the cowardly terrorist attack and the measures taken by the UAE within the framework of its right to respond to this treacherous attack, which is inconsistent with all international norms, laws, and human values. His Majesty expressed Bahrain's condemnation and uh, denunciation of the terrorist attack and affirmed uh, the kingdom's stance towards the UAE in the face of all threats to its sovereignty, security, and stability, and an affirmation of the brotherly and historic ties between the two countries and people. His Majesty the King reviewed Bahrain's uh, full support of all the measures taken by the UAE to confront the terrorist Houthi attacks and protect the safety of its citizens and residents, stressing that the safety and security of the UAE is that of Bahrain. His Majesty pointed out the support of world countries to the UAE regarding the Houthi attack and affirmed the status of the UAE on the international level. His Majesty praised the successful efforts led by the Emirati diplomacy that contributed to the issuance of the UN Security Council unanimously condemning the terrorist Houthi attack and affirming the UAE's legal right to defend its sovereignty and preserve its security, stability and interests and to consider this attack as dangerous and dangerous escalation that threatens and peace and security in the region. His Majesty wished the UAE President, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan, Vice President, a Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, and Abu Dhabi Crown Prince and Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE Armed Forces, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, continued good health and happiness, and for the UAE further progress and prosperity. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for Bahrain's firm stance towards the UAE and expressed pride in His Majesty's fraternal brotherly feelings towards the UAE, which reflects the strong historical ties between the two countries. He wished Bahrain and its people for their progress and prosperity under the leadership of His Majesty the King. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received the President of the United Nations General Assembly, the UNGA, and Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Maldives, Abdullah Shahid Adil Dhabiya Palace. His Royal Highness highlighted the importance of ongoing international collaboration with the United Nations to enhance development efforts. He emphasized Bahrain's commitment to achieving the comprehensive development goals set by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister welcomed Shahid's visit to the Kingdom, wishing him and the accompanying delegation a pleasant stay. His Royal Highness noted the UNGA's prominent role in addressing global challenges and its work to uphold international peace and security. Pertinent issues, pertinent issues of common interest, the latest international developments and means to promote international cooperation on addressing COVID-19 were discussed. For his part, Shahid expressed gratitude for the opportunity to meet with His Royal Highness. Shahid noted the commitment of His Royal Highness and, to, and Bahrain to working with international organizations such as the United Nations. The Deputy Prime Minister, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mbarak Al Khalifa, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif bin Rashid Al Zayani, and the Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, also attended the meeting. The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the General Sports Authority and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, affirmed that the honorable achievements of Bahraini handball affirms the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa to the sports sector. His Highness congratulated His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister on the qualification of the national handball team to the World Cup 2023 
for the sixth time. His Highness Sheikh Khalid hailed the efforts of the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to develop plans and strategies aimed at developing sports and athletes. He expressed pride in the achievements of Bahraini handball, congratulating the president of Bahrain Handball Federation, Ali Ishaqi, and all the Federation's members and affiliates on the occasion. He hailed the performance of the team in the 20th edition of the Asian Handball Championship held in Saudi Arabia, expressing hope that the team will continue making honorable achievements. The Council of Representatives held its weekly session presided over by its Speaker Fozia Zainal. The Council was notified of the message received from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister regarding a draft law on the implementation of the provisions of the agreement between the Government of Bahrain and the United Nations Development Programme. The session then discussed and approved the reports of the Financial and Economic Affairs Committee on the consolidated final account of the state for the year ending on December 31, 2020. The performance of the implementation of the state's general budget for the fiscal year 2020 and a statement of transfer from the account of other estimates of ministries and government agencies for the fiscal year 2020 as well as the annual report and audited financial statements for the Future Generations Reserve Fund for the fiscal year ending on December 31st, 2020. The Minister of Education and Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Higher Education Council, Dr. Majid bin Ali al Naimi, met with a number of cultural advisors at the embassies of GCC countries in Bahrain. Al Naimi praised the distinguished relations between GCC countries and the existing cooperation between them in many fields, including the educational field and the development of the educational process. Then, the Secretary General of the Higher Education Council and Deputy Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Higher Education Council, Dr. Sheikh Rana bin Isa al Khalifa, gave a presentation on private higher education institutions in Bahrain and the procedures for accepting students from the GCC. The president of the University of Bahrain, Dr. Jawahar al also gave a presentation on the university's academic programs and the registration mechanisms for students from the GCC. The Housing Ministry continued distributing units to citizens across the governance as well as Salman Town. This came in an implementation of the Royal Directors of distributing 40,000 housing units and the order of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to distribute an additional 2,000 housing units. The Ministry continued to deliver the keys uh, for applicants according to the prepared list and the delivery process was carried out with the necessary precautionary measures. It said that these projects are distinguished by their locations and facilities and confirmed the constant keenness to provide housing units and the best services to citizens to meet their aspirations. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 1,212,867 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 1,192,108 had taken the second, and 927,665 900, had taken the booster dose. The Ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 27,697 with 2,836 recoveries and 3,543 registered new cases. There are 78 active cases receiving treatment and 13 patients in critical condition. The Ministry urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus.